Hey everybody, and welcome back to Machine Troll for a quick tips video. In this video, we're going to talk about DMX settings ARTNET in version 17 up. The DMX settings window allows you to set how DMX is routed out of the console through the DMX ports, ARTNET, or streaming ACN. The line spaces are patched to you may have more than one output, as well as more than one protocol being used for the output at the same time. If DMX settings are wiped on the start of a new show, the outputs A through H will default to lines 1 through 8, depending on the outputs of the console and all ARTNET and streaming ASN are unassigned. ARTNET may be used with broadcast or unicast. It can support up to 32,767 universes. However, gigabit Ethernet supports approximately 250 before the network becomes saturated. Types of ARTNET, broadcast. ARTNET will send to all universes to all nodes, and the device will output the universes it wants to listen to. This requires less setup, but requires more network traffic. Unicast. ARTNET sends packets only to the nodes that need them. This requires more careful setup, but reduces network traffic. The first universe of ARTNET is zero, though not all manufacturers follow this as part of the ARTNET specification. Check the manual for your node to see if the first universe is zero or one. Multiple nodes slash universes can be assigned per line. Let's see our video on assigning ARTNET for that link in the description. Clicking the cog icon in the DMX settings for ARTNET, we will see the following options. DMX output, turn on or off the DMX output for this protocol. And here's ARTNET DMX. When enabled, an ARTNET packet is set at least every 20 frames, even when the values are not changing. Always broadcast ARTNET DMX. Enabling this option causes all ARTNET from this system to be broadcast. Having to enable this option is commonly a sign of a DMX configuration is incorrect or a networking issue. Lock RDM. Disables RDM traffic for this protocol. When disabled, there will be no RDM information for fixtures using this protocol. DMX overrun. Some ARTNET devices ignore changes until they're sent more than once. If this option is enabled, then at least three packets are sent for every change. Legacy mode. This causes ARTNET to be sent continuously from the console at a high rate. This may affect network performance. Loopback serial interface 1, 127.0.0.1. Sends ARTNET to the loopback adapter. This is used for software running on the same machines, such as a full version of Capture. See our video on Capture on same PC. Link will be in the description. Ethernet XXXX. That's whether you want this protocol outputting on this Ethernet adapter. There are multiple adapters in the system. You can select more than one, and the identical information will be sent out on each one. Let's have a look at that. Here I am on version 17 of Titan on the Titan Go virtual interface. So I'm going to go to my system menu, Avo disk on a console, or system button here, and go ahead and click DMX settings on my soft keys. Here we can see I currently don't have any ARTNET assigned, but we'll do that in another video. I'm going to click our gear icon here. You see here, these are the default settings. So DMX output, if we want to turn ARTNET off as a whole, we could just click this switch here and it would turn off ARTNET. The newest ARTNET DMX, as we said before, sends out packets every 20, 20 frames, even if there's no changes. That can help keep your nodes awake or the network awake. Always broadcast. Again, if we need to turn that one on, either our uh, configuration for our DMX is not correct, or perhaps our networking is not quite as uh, good as it should be. Block RDM, if we want to turn RDM off as a whole for this protocol. DMX overrun, again, that sends at least three packets for every time you send it to change. Uh, this helps make sure that the uh, node is listening and keeping up. Legacy mode, again, this sends out the ARTNET at a high rate. Uh, this can affect the network performance as it'll have a lot of traffic. Loopback, that's used with software on the same PC as the PC suite. Uh, you can see our video on that. Again, link in the description. And their Ethernet 1 and 2, we have it sent ARTNET on 1. The other, both as it currently is, or set it to neither. Or again, back to both, which is the default. And to save changes, we simply exit out of the menu. So that has been the ARTNET settings in version 17 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Join us on Facebook at AWS US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.